Yeah, well, uh, thank you. Is that working? Yeah. yeah. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, we've all spoken, everyone, so far. Sorry about some of it. Uh, spot on what Sorry had to say. Uh, and me just being here and learning a little bit over the last few weeks about uh, the DC's involvement in academies uh, throughout the country. I think, as uh, Sorry was saying, 14th Academy here, um, the first one up in this part of the country. Looking at the, the numbers, I think there are four players that have been through the DC Academies that are currently playing in the IPL. There are over 40 players that are currently playing state cricket around the country. And uh, speaking from previous experience, you know, Shane and I, growing up in, in Australia, we, we've been really lucky through our time to have a really good, solid grassroots program, very good cricket academy programs in Australia. Shane and I have both been through the Australian Cricket Academy. Um, and the thing about cricket academies is not just about the cricket, it's about the environment that's created. You know, you, you have a great sort of team, cultural sort of feel around these academies. Um, you know, some, with Shane and I, the chance to, to actually live away from home and learn what it's like to actually become a first class player and be on the road a lot of the time. Uh, also very good, safe environments for young people to be a part of. So you're learning about cricket, you're learning about life on a daily basis. So. Look, I, just, I would just like to congratulate every, everyone involved with DC's involvement in, in academies and certainly uh, DC's uh, involvement here with, with Icon Sports. I think it's a, a fantastic initiative and, and hopefully in, in coming years we'll see more and more youngsters coming through these academies and get, getting the opportunities to play for their state and play for in the IPL and go on and, and play for India. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. It's, a, it's about providing opportunity to to more and more youngsters across the country to, to chase their dreams. So, you know, the, the one thing about academies as well, it, there's, you know, people will sometimes say, you know, the best players will always eventually make it, but it's not just about making it, it's about getting an opportunity at a young age. You know, I, I went through the Australian Cricket Academy as a 15 year old. I was then able to play state cricket as a 17 year old and able to play for Australia as a 20 year old. And if I hadn't have been identified at such a young age, then you know, maybe I wouldn't have played state cricket until I was in my early 20s, and then maybe I wouldn't have played for Australia until I was in my late 20s. And all of a sudden, you have a long career, but you play 40 or 50 test matches. And luckily, the, I was identified at a young age, and that gave me the chance to play, you know, 168 test matches and 375 one-day games for Australia. So academies are all about identifying young talent, getting them in the programs early, and bringing on and speeding up their learning processes of these youngsters to get them in the system quicker. So. That's sort of how it worked out for me. It worked out in a pretty similar way for Shane as well. Shane was probably a couple of years older than me when he went through the Cricket Academy, but um, I think the ability to just get younger players involved in the game um, at the youngest possible age, identify, nurture and teach is what these academies are all about. So congratulations to everyone that's involved. Uh, Jagrit, I've got a big enough job looking after 25 players here with the Delhi Capitals, let alone looking after 14 different academies across the country. So all the very best to you, but I know you'll do a great job. And, and all of us here at, at DC are very proud of what we've been able to do across the country with these academies. So good luck to everyone, and I'm sure it'll be a great success.